So today I'm going to be doing a shooting test of the Umarex DX7. I'm going to be using pellets, uh, daisy pointed pellets. Um, I'm going to be about 15 feet away. Um, I already took a few shots earlier. I'll show you those. Well, not me actually shooting, but where they hit because I've been having some problems with the. Um, I'm not using my actual camera. I'm using my phone because uh, I'll probably start using my actual camera once I uh, get a laptop because. Uh, just hard and stuff, you know, but, um, because we only have one computer right now, so, uh, once I get my own, then I'll start using that more camera, but I can put this, my phone, on the tripod, just, I kind of got to balance it, but, uh, so yeah, we're going to take a few shots, maybe like three or four shots, maybe, probably do, I'll probably do like four, or, I'll do five shots, and I'll show you where they hit, and I'll show you some, say some of the other things happen while shooting it. But uh, let's go. I'm gonna be back. I think I already said 15 feet, and let's see what it does. I think I already have it loaded. No, I did not. Okay, I'll reset that piece of paper. I guess it hit. I was aiming right at the bullseye and it hit really low. Let's get beyond. Yeah, excuse the uh, messy range since I just moved it over here and I want to try to get something to actually shoot on or like a table to put stuff to shoot on. And I had one of those that Gamo Target at our old house, but I don't know what happened to it. There's a thing where you put the paper in, I don't know what happened to that, so. I'm going to try to get another one of those. That'll help a lot. But for now, I'm going to have to do it like this. And my phone is saying the battery's at 15%. I don't care. I knew I should have charged my phone, but oh well. Okay, so I think we took one shot, so let's do four more. Okay, that landed about maybe three feet in front of me but that didn't even make it to the target and I was aiming at the bullseye and it is a little cooler out today it's about right now it's about just about 60 degrees it's around 55 60 so it's not that cold but uh let's take another shot okay that hit a lot harder I don't know it's like either the I think it might be the pellets maybe because some of them aren't even barely making out some of them are I see what's going on, I think. I think I see exactly what's going on. Hold on. I think this is shot number three to two. So three more. Uh, I don't know if that one came out. Yes. No, it did not. That one's stuck in the barrel. Okay, that one just came out, so we're not going to count that one. I think. Oh. I think there was a bit of leftover lead in the gun or something. Oh. Okay, so let's do three more shots. Because that one didn't even make it out of the barrel. Okay, hit the piece of metal. Uh, okay, two more shots. Let's see. Probably in the oil, that piece of rubber. I'll show you that in a minute. I don't know where that went. I don't even think it made it to the target. I mean, it's not that cold. I should be doing. I know the velocity is not going to be as high, but this is just ridiculous. I mean, it's not very cold out, but. Okay, that one didn't make it out. Okay, that one just made it out. And ricocheted into the box. We're going to try one more shot. So I'm going to do one more since a lot of these shots have not been any count. And these pellets, they did pretty good in my Daisy. Well, they did okay in my Daisy A80. They were okay accurate. But there. And I'm taking a few more shots now, I think. Since I've been shooting it. Ow. A little bit more. Hold on. There we go. I think now it's... I think I just need a few shots to like, I don't know, now it seems to be doing a bit better. Alright, 
So, let's see how we did. And uh, there is a few shots from early. I'll show you those. All right. Oops, sorry, my bad. Let me hurry up and finish this video before either my phone dies or it gets too dark. So, um, a lot of the shots hit right here when I was first shooting. And as you can see, some of these pellets weren't even making it through the cardboard. As you can see, there's one right there. I got stuck. There's another one. I mean, usually it would go through cardboard, at least one layer. This is just, you know, that one got stuck. I don't know where that one went. Yeah, here are some of them right here. There's one right there. I'm not even going to reuse these because they do have some damage. There's one right there. Um, oh, yeah, here's another one. Right here. So they weren't even making through that. Some of them did. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, you think? Yeah, there's some of them right there. But uh, if I can find that one side where I was shooting with the Daisy 8080, I was like a few feet away. But here's the target. This is maybe 15, 20 shots. Or like when I was shooting, but some of them hit the box. And I was standing, yeah, right. So I'll just kind of go back here. I was standing right here, shooting that. And some of them didn't hit the bullseye. I think that some, oh, excuse me. Some of it, I think the gun just doesn't really like the daisy pellets because they were shooting very inconsistently. Because with BBs, it's fine. But um, it was, I mean, with the shots that were good, I mean, I got three shots right there, one right there, one right there. Few right there, one right there, and another one right there. So, just put that in there. Um, but yeah, I mean the barrel isn't very long. It's maybe like two inches long. But let me cock it real quick for you. Let me just here. Hold on. Let me show you. I think I might know some of the problem. Don't fall down, phone. Don't do that. No. Okay. So that part right there. Um. You actually might need to oil it, like that rubber seal, I think. Uh, yeah, that always goes down. I might need to oil that. Maybe just, because it's, I, I mean, that probably will help. That probably will help me seal it more when the pellet's in there. Every time I pull it up, it does not want to stay up. But yeah, as you can see, the bear, whatever. Um... The barrel is not very long, it's a smooth bore, but, um, I mean, it's okay, but some of them, like, were, uh, landing, like, like, here's a target, they would land, like, right here sometimes, sometimes even more, like, back there, they would just come out and just land, but, um, yeah, so, uh, maybe once I get different pellets, I'll do another shooting test of this, and we'll see, but it's still a decent gun, though, I mean, I do like it, but, um, I don't know. I mean, I just don't think it's good with daisy. I mean, I don't really like daisy pellets in general. They're not, they're better than the ones I had before, but they're still not the greatest. But, yeah. So, yeah, and sorry the range is a little messy. Um, once we get more clear the, out back there, like, our property lines is, like, right there. So, uh, once we clear more of that, I might be able to go back farther. I can't really go out there. But, uh, once we clear more of it, I'll be able to to do more long range shooting but for now it's kind of limited to about maybe 30 feet but uh yeah so um hope you guys enjoy this video uh thanks for watching